Well, Slice and Pie is a pizza joint located on 14th Street, and it was recently named one of the top 50 pizza restaurants in the United States. It's also the only pizza restaurant in D.C. to achieve that honor. So we've got the owner, Giulio Adriani, is here to show us how he serves up some of the best pizza in the country. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. the only pizza shop in D.C. to be recognized, yeah. as well as top 50 in the country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Were you surprised? Oh, you're probably not surprised. You're very <laughs> proud of your work. But what was it like to hear that news? Uh, it was great because uh, it was the only New York style pizza. So for us, it was a big oh, okay. achievement. Yeah. Normally, you know, Neapolitan pizza rests around very fancy. Instead, we, we got there with a slice shop, which is incredible. That's right. awesome. And how long have you been there on 14th Street? A year and a half. Just a year and a half. Yeah, and just this honor. We, we knew. Yeah, <laughs> that's exciting. Okay, okay, then what's the secret to your pizza right. being so Everyone good? Everyone wants to know. <laughs> Passion. Passion. Mm -hmm. Passion, but then technically, you know, the dough has to be very hydrated, so it's very light to eat. When you when you add a lot of water into the dough, then mm -hmm. what you eat has less calories, right. obviously. Right, okay. Oh, so, so as you see here, the dough pizza. is very, very yeah. soft. I so see for that. everybody that does it at home, you know, the more water, the better. It seems harder to manipulate and okay. touch it, but add a little bit of flour, and you see how fluffy and, yeah. and soft it is. Yeah. You know, I see the bubbles in it. That looks yeah, a little different right? than what I normally see. Oh, gosh. It's so soft. Oh, oh it yeah. is so soft. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So it's and the water you're saying? Little yeah, extra water. the amount of water that you put into the dough is important. Okay. And of course, flour or quality ingredients, that's quality obvious. Quality ingredients, right. Nowadays. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And you specialize, so I see his, this is like a thicker crust pizza here. This is my, la my latest passion. It's oh. Detroit style. <laughs> It's fun because it's almost similar to what we were doing at home in Italy. You mm -hmm. know, a pizza that you can make at home because you're going to use a pan, but also, you know, now it's a trend because he has the cheese on the crust, like you can see here, yeah. and then when he cooks, it becomes scrumptious and it's crispy, soft, uh, so mm. it's, a, it's a big hit. With the light and fluffiness, too. Mm -hmm. I, f I always, that's kind of the thing sometimes with that thick crust pizza, you bite into it and it's all dough. Absolutely. That's right. not what you no, want. No, no, no. You want mm -hmm. air, you want a softness, like a pillow. You need to bite into a pillow. Yeah. So what are we going to make here? So here, what I'm making, I'm making classy Detroit. So once you, you kind of open the door, you use butter on the bottom of the, cr of okay. the pan. Or you can use oil, but oil tends to shrink uh, the pizza. So okay. we, so butter we is like to use the butter. Secret yes, recipe that's there, use the butter. And then we, care, we transfer the pizza into the pan. Okay, it's easy enough. This, uh, and then once it's stretched and you kind of cover all the pan, then it's become the, the characteristic of uh, the Detroit. You put the cheese on the bottom. Okay. Instead oh, of putting the okay. tomato, you put the cheese, right? Just mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is shredded mozzarella, and then in order to achieve the, the cheese on the sides, we use uh, like a mix of Asiago and Parmesan that we kind of put on the side, and oh, it's gonna give the, the crust exactly. over there. Okay. And in the middle. Oh. I just want to so. eat that cheese. It looks so it, fresh and <laughs> delicious so good over here. Yeah. And then the tomato always, that's why I'm having a glow, uh, where you kind of like it a lit. Yeah. Okay. So we don't want to smother it no, all around. No, not too much, because too much is always not good for pizza. I always think balance is the, yeah. the secret. Learning right? something new, because I, I smother it with sauce, but <laughs> I'm learning from the expert here. And speaking of expert, I know you are also a seven-time world pizza champion. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we are really learning from the best we here are. today. Yes. Yes, I've been very lucky with the competition. There's always a lot of luck in, involved, of course, skills. Luck and skills. <laughs> yes. Like so say, there's some yeah. skill there, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. What did, so how long ago did you really start kind of? Ten minutes after you cook, it should Okay. Ready. All right. Okay. So okay. that's kind of the prep, and then that's the prep, and then magic finally of we're going to go to the magic of TV. Let's that's right. see this finished product. Oh, wow. It looks amazing. There we go. So oh, you see, wow. one, once it's cooked, uh, the colors start changing. It smells amazing. Smells great. Yes. The pepperoni, this yeah. is the new trend in pepperoni, is this cup and char, okay. which is they turn and they become caramelized and crispy. Okay. Well, you're cutting that up. Uh, congratulations Thank again. You. So exciting. And we're so honored to have you here in D.C. You can get a slice that you can go to Slice and Pie. They're open for dine-in, carry-out daily as he's putting the finishing touches on. They're located at 14th Street and Florida Avenue.